I continue. I shall have another one, if you don't mind. Uh, I noticed you were talking about the federal storm water requirements last night at the Board of Selectmen or some meeting recently, mm -hmm. and I got the impression it's sort of money in case something comes along type <laughs> approach. It's not anything that we have to do right this minute. It's something that may come down the road, maybe. Is that the way I, did I interpret that correctly? I know I've sat here for the previous four years and told you it was coming. The line or the message that's been sent forward is that it would get released between the election and the inauguration so that everybody was fully focused on something else. So <laughs> whether it gets released this month or next month or in February, I will have six months to implement some of the aspects of it and nine months for other aspects and it will take a large chunk of this this money. So um, is, is this yeah. a, is this a uh, statute or is this uh, one of the dictates that have been passed down from the president? Uh, <laughs> a federal, well, the federal stormwater requirement is, a, is something that was passed by Congress and Senate, mm -hmm. enacted by the EPA Region 1 office, so that rulemaking authority rests with them and that's where it's coming from. Okay, so it comes from them rather than just something that's passed down. I follow you. Okay, that's all I. All set. Okay. I ha that's all I have. Started in 2008 to make a requirement. We sent them over a thousand pages of questions. Oh my God. Took four years to answer the thousand pages of questions. You mean they started talking about making a requirement? They still haven't made a requirement, right? They released it as a draft last year in Massachusetts and made Massachusetts the first state within EPA Division 1 and then they'll release it to Maine, New Hampshire and Vermont together as a package. Mm -hmm. But it's still not a requirement. Not until they release it. Yeah. Further questions, Mr. Yes. Jones, you were next. In so as you know, this federal stormwater line item is my favorite topic every year, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and I noticed that Every year I've been here, this is my fourth go around. You've been talking about it, we've been talking about it for four years. Yeah. And I keep saying, but it's not a requirement. Why are we budgeting for it? Because we have some bureaucrats somewhere saying it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Right. Well, for four years we've been funding it under the basis that this bureaucrat's gonna keep saying it's gonna be, it's gonna be. You After to, four years, it still more. ain't. Mm -hmm. Yet we've been funding this money year after year after year after year. Right. Did people use that money for different reasons then? Well, basically it goes unused. I'm about to ask questions along those lines right now. Because you did spend under this line... Um, 57.63. Thank you, Michael Pierre. I love 57.63. Uh, what was that spent for? Signs. If there was no requirement... Signs. 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 Signs, signs, everywhere signs. Okay. We have 100... We've mapped out 160 outfalls. Uh -huh. we're, we're mentally getting prepared for this permit. Okay. To quantify what its impact would be to Hampton, we've literally gone okay. out and counted all the... So would it be fair that, to say that the 56, the 5763 was spent in preparation work to meet, right. for when the bureaucracy actually says we want you to do it after more than four years of saying, okay. we're going to tell you, but we Posts haven't told you yet. Posts and signs. Right. Okay, so... We've been taxing the taxpayers for more than four years on something that isn't a requirement and something that we're not doing, mm -hmm. other than maybe some prep work. Uh, don't you think taxpayers need a break on this line item? Since we've already taxed them four, five times, six times <laughs> well, for this. Honestly, other Last than that $5,000, we haven't spent the money. If anything, it's gone into the town's savings account, the unfunded. Yeah, account. exactly. But the bottom line is the people's, the taxpayers, have had it removed from their pockets. And they probably got a portion of it back when the selectmen gave a certain portion of the unfunded. Yeah, they took away $10 and they gave me back 10 cents. I got a portion back, there's no okay. doubt about it. But the bottom line is we're taking the money from the taxpayers for purposes that are not required of us under a line item that says federal stormwater requirements, which of course is not a requirement still, right? I've said my piece. Today, okay. Are so we I right? would I would like to note that last year you had reallocated ten thousand dollars in this line, and now you're jumping to fifty thousand. Does this reflect 
you know, some sort of greater confidence is going to happen this year versus your confidence level last year? Yes. Okay. And how can that be when we have a new administration coming in who has promised, especially in the EPA area, to uh, remove regulations? In fact, he's actually put out a policy statement already saying, uh, for every new regulation, we're going to remove two. Oh, and he has called EPA specifically as being overreaching in their regulatory activities. Why would that cause you to have increased confidence that this regulation is going to be forthwith? I'm an engineer. It's good engineering. <laughs> there you go. Why did you vote for him? Good question. Okay. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> My vote was not expressed, and nor will it be. The ballot is a, a, a sector sank. You can ask any pollster that calls me. Okay. I know we're ready for the vote. Nobody's Ladies business how I voted. We're going to do total I would like, I would like to, to wonder whether or not we could not reduce this line item down to like we did the, the same with the lifeguards. Year after year, we funded the lifeguards. We couldn't find any lifeguards. All right. And if you recall, a couple, a couple of meetings ago, we decided to reduce that line item because we weren't spending the money on that for good reason, because we couldn't get any. And now we're not spending money on this line item for good reason, because we're not required to yet. Well, it, it has, been it has had a positive effect so yeah. far in, in so far as the outfalls have been identified. I believe I heard Fred say that. Yeah. As right. to dog waste being inappropriately disposed of mm -hmm. in all these culverts and so forth, which adds to contamination in the area around, which adds to contamination in the water that goes out of it. And the more clean water we can have as a community, the better off we are. So Madam Chair, I'm happy if, if the some. DPW department is actually going to test the waters because it makes good ecological sense to do so, but not under the pretense that we're being required to by the feds year after year after year. Let's actually test it. Don't we have any clue what what we want to test there? They inspect. They've been inspected, the outfalls. But it takes time, right, Chris? Well, and... Um, he, Citizen Jones does make a good point. Are we actually testing? And this year you can see that we've spent 57.63 out of the line. We are testing, and I'm not sure, I think it's weekly, if not bi-weekly, the, because of the force main break that occurred in February, we have an agreement with Chris Nash from the Shellfish Division. Mm -hmm. DES that we will test Tide Mill Creek and other locations on a bi-weekly basis. So we've some of that 5763 that we spent this year, I know at least 2500 of it was for lab testing supplies. What were the results? We find on average 14 is the E. coli limit that you can technically have or that's what our discharge permit says. We we get ones, twos, threes. We'll get a seven. Mm -hmm. We had one that was a 68. Mm -hmm. We found a dead seagull 100 feet up the beach. <laughs> uh, something like that will trip it. Poor yeah. seagull. Uh, but that's been the only flyer, if yeah. you will, that we've had. Yeah. But it's a way of monitoring, and this is that is the kind of monitoring that will need to go on regularly and frequently under this federal permit. So. Right. In anticipation of it was like an exercise. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. My my, my assumption, and you can tell me if my paradigm is needs adjusting here. But my paradigm is the EPA is going to have you test all kinds of stuff, and, and probably a good portion of that stuff you probably really don't need to test. And, and there is a good portion of stuff that you really should test, and you know a good portion of that good portion that should be tested, I suspect. And we ought to just start testing it. Okay. All right, and if that's the case, I'm just saying, well, let's change the name of that line item and get rid of that offensive federal requirement garbage, and let's talk about the real dollars you need to do the real testing that makes for good uh, public health sense for the Hampton. So do you have anything you can speak on that? No. Good. I'm not just mentally not prepared. At the moment. Okay. Is that, is that like a big deal to, 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 to I mean, I, mean no, I understand that you're not prepared now, but I mean, because that's something you could answer, say, in a month or so? Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. I'll, I, I would look forward to okay. having a conversation with you on that. I'll task the man sitting behind me and his cohort from the wastewater plant. To and well, I'm sure you'll tell him how to get a hold of me, right? Oh. And Mr. <laughs> Mr. Nash is involved because we don't want to see the clam flats contaminated. Correct. 